Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm just going to talk very quickly about, um, only for five minutes, about um, the Architectural Heritage Fund, also about social purpose in community heritage projects, and also about an opportunity um, that you might like to know about. Um, so very briefly, um, we were set up 40 years ago, and our mission is to help communities across the UK um, repair and reuse historic buildings for enterprising new uses. And, and when I talk about enterprising, I mean creative new uses that serve a meaningful purpose. Um, are you delivering a social or an economic outcome, or preferably both? Um, we don't fund, uh, critically, projects that are simply about repairing a historic building, where there's been no thought about its future use or about its potential benefit it can bring uh, to society. We give advice, grants and loans. Our grant programmes are for project development, not capital works. Um, uh, and uh, we fund pre principally feasibility studies, options appraisals, outline and detailed designs, condition surveys, and so on. Um, so therefore, most of our funding actually is used to pay architects' um, uh, fees to support the development of project ideas. The opportunity that I want to talk about is we've just been awarded um, a three-year funding agreement from the Treasury uh, to expand our, our grant programmes, partly as a response of all of the um, publicly owned buildings that are being transferred across uh, from public ownership over the next few years. We're talking about libraries, town halls, hospitals, magistrates' courts, schools, and so on. And our grants budget is really to help um, uh, develop ideas for creative new uses of those, of those former public buildings. Our objective is to try and ensure um, that they're developed for a beneficial social purpose and they're not left to rot, um, i.e. they become a sort of catalyst for growth and improvement of an area and, and not the symbol um, uh, for, for the beginning of a, a significant community decline. Um, as well as our grants programmes, we offer loans for acquisition, working capital um, uh, uh, for, uh, to help community projects where they can't fit raise other, other funds. And we also have a network of support officers across the country, um, soon to be 10, who help um, uh, work with communities and put them in touch, for example, with architectural practices who can help lead, lead their projects. Um, this is our impact, uh, just a brief uh, discussion of what we've achieved. Um, we deliver a, a whole myriad of social and economic benefits through the projects we supported. Over 200 projects have actually been completed over the last 10 years as a result of, of our investment, and we lever in a significant amount of um, additional investment, as you can uh, see from uh, this slide. Crucially, getting the right advice and support early on um, helps ensure uh, that our clients are set off uh, down the right path and don't waste precious time and, and money. Uh, and the projects that we have supported uh, tend to be much more likely uh, to uh, uh, be able to raise additional capital to deliver their projects, for example, from the lottery or, or indeed from, from private investment. I'm just going to very quickly run through some of the projects that we funded, just to give you an idea of the sort of um, uh, projects that we've uh, supported. Uh, this is uh, Pujan's um, uh, 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 church um, in Gorton in Manchester, uh, previously derelict, falling, uh, falling down, uh, now repaired and used for a whole variety of different uses. A conference, it houses local businesses, it's a community facility for what is in a very deprived area of, of, of Manchester. Uh, Critically, there are an awful lot of interests in this particular project. Local business interest, um, a wider regional conference interest, public service providers as well, and of course the local community who are all quite passionate about their heritage. Uh, this is the Midland Hotel in Morecambe, um, uh, Art Deco building. Uh, we fund uh, buildings of all periods. Um, and particularly uh, where our uh, uh, funding makes the most difference is uh, sort of local vernacular heritage. So here is the late 18th century uh, schoolhouse um, and coach building, um, and it's been converted into a multi-purpose educational resource, a community, a cafe, um, and uh, it's uh, now a really uh, core part of, of community uh, life. Um, here's a, a, a mill building. We fund lots of mill buildings for a variety of uses. Uh, this is in the Derwent Valley. Um, uh, the client there was the Arkwright Society, um, and it's been developed both as a um, uh, uh, holiday accommodation, bringing in an essential revenue for, for the charity that runs the Derwent Valley World Heritage Site, but also, again, as an educational and community resource in the lower ground. Um, and there it is, a wonderful um, setting for people uh, to go and visit. Uh, we do fund some uh, local crafts uh, um, skills. So here's Strawberry Hill in Twickenham. I'm sure most of you know about this. Um, our funding here was used to help uh, create um, opportunities for local craftsmen uh, to uh, develop the skills that are required, particularly in dealing with the 
wonderfully ornate ceilings. Um, and finally, this is just one example in Peterhead in, 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 um, in Scotland, where um, our funder took some redundant Georgian townhouse buildings, again, local vernacular, um, and actually converted them into um, uh, working in partnership with the National Trust of Scotland and uh, a local housing association, converted it into sheltered housing for people with, with, with disabilities. Um, uh, and uh, it's proved to be an extremely successful and very valuable resource for the local community. The key issue with all of the projects that we fund is that they're not de the, the architects quite often not dealing with one client, but often hundreds of clients. And I've said it could be the trust that's delivering the project, it can be a commercial partner that is um, delivering some of the services that will be in the a refurbished building, it can be a public service provider. Um, but of course, the biggest challenge is really taking the community, the local community, with you. Um, Local um, uh, communities are very, very passionate about their local heritage, we find. They often have uh, very uh, determined views on how a building should be used um, and developed, and quite often they can be conflicting views as well. Um, and we find that actually, increasingly, an architect has a responsibility to try and bring all of those conflicting ideas about how and find, a, find some common ground and develop it for, um, uh, for a purpose that will, will suit as many people. Um, as possible. And, and the other aspect of that, and I don't want to put you off in the opportunities here, that, that is that many of the projects we fund, the architect ends up having a long-term involvement with that project, become, either joins the, 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 the community trust board or retains a long-term interest um, and uh, uh, develops it um, for the benefit of our community. 